I'm telling you, I am in love right now. Teresa, I want to just tell you that I am in love with this car right now. Okay. I ain't lying to you. You know that. I don't, I don't know. You know me. I don't lie. Especially over stupid shit. Look at that. It has the, the EXB etched in there. It's a lot like this, but this is cooler. Would you say, Kat, the artist? Yeah. My daughter's an artist, you guys, and a good one at that. When I asked her for her opinion on style, she's very, very good at style. What do you think of that body compared to that body? Ooh. Okay, that's going to be a little bit of a toughie. I already know my answer. Anybody? Which bodies do you guys like better? The outcast. And why is that? For me, it looks more rugged for uh, the desert, and I'm a desert type of person, and uh, it, it's, it looks like it's a get up and go thing. It, it looks like it's nothing that it, there's nothing out there that it cannot handle. And them tires all over. What body do you like better? The outcast. I would honestly have to say the outcast. It has more detailing <coughs> than the uh, crane does. What do you mean more detailing? Like for example, it has this little bar right here. So roof rack. Yeah, the roof rack. Plus it has those little grooves right there, right in the back. There's grooves in the back of that one too. That's meant to be a truck, a flat truck. This is meant to be a truck. I meant like this part right here. I understand. I don't find that, personally, <coughs> I don't find that a big deal. What I like is that they did the lines this way, made it made it look like a truck truck. The Badland tires, I know, and you, you might not know, that these are great tires. These are epic tires as well. This is the remote, we'll get into this shortly. Rob, which body do you like better? Honestly, I, I do like the Outcast better than I do the Crate. Let me take it out the box, see if that makes a difference, guys. Oh, there she is. Is she any heavier than the other one? Than which one? The no, that one's heavier. It's got the motor and everything in it. <coughs> that one was really heavy. I actually was surprised that I had a hard time carrying it down here. And you can see all those on camera. I know you can't probably get it all in one shot. I like that cr that outcast black because it looks more cowboy. Uh, like a marauder. Sort of, not, not, now that you mention it. Now I know all you x people out there. I forgot to bring this one out here too. Just because it's the same size and kind of in the same category as the rest of these cars here. And I gotta tell you, this one is way lighter by far. Are you kidding me? That shit's heavy. This shit is not heavy. The cool thing <coughs> is, is I just did up the gears in here. I don't know if you can see them, probably not. I'll figure it out one of these days. Anyways, nope, you can't see them, but I did just change the gears to a ratio that I really like, and I don't really want to describe what the ratio is until I drive it, and I've had it ready to go for almost a month and a half now, and I have not tried my X-Max non-stock. As we all know, stock is not the best for flipping and wheelies. The X-Max is geared up now. When I actually do the run, I will let everybody know what's in it because I think that the gearing in this is going to be just crazy. I had fun with it on stock. At first I was a little underwhelmed but then after I drove it the second time I was able to pull off a backflip on stock. Um, that was pretty decent. After that I wasn't so underwhelmed. Um, she's a red car meaning that you go up to the jump slowly or at least if you go up to the jump fast you leave enough throttle that you can use either in the air or off the ramp. It needs to speed up over the hill to jump. Some cars you can start from way down there and get speed and still crank it up over the hill and it's great. This car needs to be cranked up over the hill, not just ran and full bore up a, up a thing. That's what I call kind of a grunt car, meaning that it grunts up the hill. And that's what you could go up to the hill slow. That's the difference between the other cars too is that the other ones you kind of need speed and they just take big jumps. These type cars you can go up to it slow, hit the gas, and you'll get a bigger jump than if you were to actually have speed. That's what I mean by grunt cars. X-Max, geared up, ready to go, haven't taken it out yet, and super excited about that. Um, I, I geared up the E-Revo, and oh my god, I think it's a, an 1850, 18 tooth 
opinion, 52 spur, because it's an off-road dog. Back to the lecture at hand. These are still bigger than these, but you can obviously tell that these are twice the size of these. Not twice the size, but bigger than these. So those must be the big block badlands. Badass badlands is what they are. Don't be messing with those. They kick your ass. When we take a look at the body, guys, 